Good day everyone, this is Frost and this is Frost Moto. So first, thank you God for allowing this to happen. Second, thank you Motor Ace of Cebu, uh, Sir Ivy, and the people working under Motor Ace. Thank you so much guys for accepting me kindly and warmly. And Sir Ranji bro, thank you Gayo bro for bringing the interceptor here. Uh, me and Sir Ranji uh, became friends when I messaged him on Facebook and asking if I could future Jesus Kovarna to my channel. He did not give me an answer, but he invited me to one of the events here in Cebu in the Motor Ace. So that's the reason why we became friends and also the reason why the Interceptor is here. We have here the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So for the people who does not know, Royal Enfield has been here since 1901. They first produced bicycles, then transitioned into bikes. I mean, they transitioned into motorcycles and their motorcycle was used in wars. So the Royal Enfield brand has a very deep and profound meaning. You're not just paying for the motorcycle, you're also paying for the brand. So what we have here is the classic retro Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So before we start, sound check. It has a 648cc two-cylinder parallel oil and air-cooled so less expenses four stroke four valves so total of eight valves each cylinder single overhead cam and a six-speed transmission so as you can see to the engine there's no complexity what you see is what you get very simple so one of the best thing about this bike is first the design second it's just like a silver plate here like a German steel and it has a royal infield printed over there so once again if you ride this bike it's just like you go back in time you're like living in the 1940s to 1970s so again the radiator is here and the oil filter is also here the interceptor is really an authentic bike from the re so let's talk about the other side so the bore and stroke of this bike is 78 by 67.8 millimeter that produces a max power of 47.65 kW at 7150 rpm that gives a max torque of 52 Nm at 5250 rpm and again the compression ratio is 95 is to 1 one of the reason why Royal Enfield stands out to its competition is first they really go all in for example the foot peg the foot peg has a name on it and the name is Royal Enfield you see how invested they are to their quality bikes so for me it's really a good point Fuel capacity is 13.7 liters fuel injected and the average fuel consumption is 28 km per liter depending on your weight and the traffic condition of which you are riding. So let's talk about its stopping power. So the front brake is 320 mm single disc and the brand name is Vibri. So Vibri has been used by different companies like KTM, Kawasaki and the brand names of their bikes are uh, Duke, uh, Rouser, Dominar. So again, you have the full confidence that it is a good quality. Rear brake is 240 mm single disc steel by Brie. So let's talk about the tire. So the front tire is 100 by 90 by 18. So again, just a disclaimer, just to clarify things. The Royal Enfield Interceptor 650, it does not have tubeless. So the tire is interior. So just to tell you truthfully. So the rear tire is the same. It's not tubeless, but the tire size is 130 by 70 by 18 so it's not mugs it is a spoke wheel so again spoke wheels are good in off-road or road so it is a good quality belt for the interceptor 650 it can handle 
anything. One of the best thing about the Interceptor 650 that I really like is again, it has a two separate exhaust and each exhaust weights around 10 to 12 kilograms. So that's one of the reasons why the curb weight of this bike is a little bit heavy, almost the same with the NK400. Like I said, the Royal Enfield has really been into the creation. They invested a lot of time and money for this. So they changed the crankshaft into 270 degrees and the purpose of that is to give it to give it more power and lesser vibration because the Royal Enfield has always been known as the motorcycle that always vibrates. So for now, I'm gonna do a test drive to prove it if it still vibrates or does not. So I'm gonna give it my own uh, pros and cons. To be honest, I did not know that it has a side stand kill switch. And again, it's a nice thing to add, extra safety. And again, the bike may look classic, but the features are not. It's very modern. And like I said, Royal Enfield really is invested on their creation. So the light are bulb and the turning indicators are bulb. So a lot of people complain. Why? Because it is isn't LED. But for me, it's a very good thing that they are in LED because you're not buying a modern style bike. You're buying a retro oldie type of classic. So the backlight is bulb. The turning indicators are bulb. So a lot of people complain about this. But this is just my own assumption, my own explanation. I believe Royal Enfield has intended it to be bulb for the purpose of giving the real deal of becoming a classic because that's the point of buying a classic bike so when you buy this bike it's somewhat like you're living in the past so you're not just paying for the motorcycle you're paying for the history and the story of the bike that you have purchased so again that's a nice thing because the bike has a story to tell so the seat quality is nice it has a good thick leather again the foam is soft so when you do a long ride, you will still be comfortable. So again, that's a nice thing to add. Compartment of this bike. Uh, guys, you're gonna like this because it's very old school. So let's open it uh, like that. Let's check what inside. So the inside is this. Tools. Uh, and you can put some files here like this one or CR. And actually guys, this is really funny. Check, check it out. It's very old school. I old school. The luck is very old school. You're not just paying for the motorcycle to be classic, you're paying for everything to be classic. So how to open the seat is like is this one. So you pull this string, pull this string, and so let's check the compartment. So this is what is inside. Um, warranty card. It's, uh, it's defender in the back. So you can you can put uh, you cannot put anything here. So the battery, the battery is in the inside. So the battery is here. So that's the battery. Uh, so let's check for other pieces. So let's check the panel, guys. It's very analog, very classic. What you see is what you get. There's no complexity. So let's check it. So the left side is its speedometer, uh, fuel, and its odometer. So on the right side is RPM at up to 9,000 ABS and chicken gin and battery so uh, another uh, drawback with this bike it has no gear indication it only has neutral so turning lights and high beam so that's it let's check the, uh, the quality of plastics so switches is very nice it's strong it's sturdy signal light is nice quality uh, it's horn and it has a passing light the passing light is the color is yellow it's very old and the quality of the material it's the grip it's nice no need for you to change anything metal quality is very nice so let's check the other one so kill switch and ignition and start so that's it so the side mirror quality is nice it's strong and it's easy to man uh, it's easy to change to any direction that you want so worth it for the price no need to change anything so it's just a very nice uh, decals here, a Royal Enfield, it's really premium, it's not a sticker, it's somewhat, um, I think it has a very great adhesive that they put here. Actually guys, this is a classic motorcycle, it's expensive because you're not paying alone for the motorcycle, you're also paying for the brand because it has a very rich and deep history. So this is the exhaust, this is the bore, it has a very nice two 
exhaust going to the back separately so when you're riding this it has a very nice uh, aesthetics so let's talk about the features like i said the bike may look old but the features aren't so it has a dual channel abs so it's a very nice thing that the royal infield added it here because here in the philippines there's no proper pedestrian people cross over anywhere so i again it's a nice added features to have an abs abs is anti-lock braking system and also the rear has abs so one of the best thing about this also is it has a sleeper clutch so where can you get that a classic retro bike that has sleeper clutch it's a good add-on for another safety for no gearing up of the gears so this is its gear type the metal is strong <laughs> i mean really strong quality is nice so the seat height of this bike is around 804 millimeter and the curb weight is 22 kilogram and the ground clearance is 174 mm so if your height is around 55 you can still manage the bike with flat footed actually we are using a center stand so this uh, interceptor has a center stand no need for you to buy any paddock so that's one of the advantages so i'm gonna do a test drive so again guys this is just my own experience and my own explanation so i'm gonna tell you also uh if you are if your height is around 511 so you will be flat footed when you use the interceptor 650 so there's no problem to it it's very easy to maneuver So let's begin our own little test drive on the Interceptor 650. So let's start. So let's check or let's feel the rhythm of the bike. Let's check each side. So the clutch is really smooth. The gearing are smooth. So let's check the uh, torque. So in three, two, one, go. So the torque is it's not that same the other 600cc bikes or the other 400cc bikes. It is not the same simply because it ain't a performance bike. It is used for a relaxed session and to enjoy the scenery, the view, to enjoy the moment type of classic motorcycles. That's the one purpose of the classic bikes, to enjoy the moment. So maybe when we go to the highway, we can do a little... Uh, not top speed but just to feel the rhythm of how powerful the engine is so we're gonna do a left turn here and we're gonna see a highway so we're gonna ride a bit but this is the feeling or the view if you ride the Enter 650 it has a nice blue uh, backlight for you to see it's not painful in the eyes and again you can see the light a lot of people complain about that because of bad it will be brighter if it's dark so again guys you can see it in the video but even though it is bulb it is still clear so let's start with the power again it has a mid-range power but still because it is still in its braking period around a thousand almost a thousand kilometers so still we couldn't feel the full potential of the engine So if you like the video and it made your decision easier, please like and subscribe for support. Again, if you're wondering if there's a store located in Visayas or much closer in Mindanao, actually there is. They're located at Motor A Cebu or Royal Enfield Cebu, located at Gorordo Avenue. So I'm going to put their Facebook page in the description. So again, guys, if you're interested, just kindly mes message them. And again, the price of the Interceptor 650 is 401000 
it has three versions same chassis same engine different modification different color so again if you like the video please like and subscribe for support and god bless oh record this actually record record para gano na kanang pala kanang bloopers pwede na sa edit to mas mind na ng record dan so unsa man well ah yes ah ni ko subana so guys Sir Ranji bro, I'm actually thankful to Sir Ranji kay, I mean, kung sa kuan pa, sa libo ko kay, actually, one of my hobbies is, as much as possible, I like, can review so many bikes, then, Sir Ranji, usa ni sa, sa mga tao nga akong gi-message ba? I message almost uh, 60 ka tao, 60 people in, in, on Facebook, uh, and reply, Ang nireply to low or pat. Then, si Sir Ranji, doon kayo siya nireply. Yeah. Like I said, ako siya gi-invite nga if I could feature his Husqvarna's to my channel. He did not give me an answer, but he invited me to one of the events here in Cebu in Motor Ace. So that's the reason why the Interceptor is here and we became friends. So thankful kayo ko ka Sir Ranji and blessed because dili lalim mag-review og mga bike because O, may hapa ni mo ang tao nga musugot. Again, thank you kayo Sir Ranji bro. Kayo din rin mo Sir Ranji 27. So, manan, dakil mo siya ipailayla sa kong motor. Then, next month, upalit siya o Z4, Z9. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, one of my dream bikes. So, hopefully, saan malabavlog na ko yung Z9. That's my goal good sa life. Dream uh, Z900. So, bro, thank you guys yung time bro. Ang sa may masturya ni mo sa tuang I mean, uh, what can you say sa tuang pagilayla? Oh, someone, you can't get it. There's going to be more bikes for you to review. This is just the start. We have the interceptor right here. If you have any questions about this one, if you would like to get a Royal Enfield or maybe the other bikes, some um, Motor Ace will be able to handle it. So there will be um, the KTMs. If you want the Husqvarna's, they're, they're also. Getting, I mean, they also have available as Kavarnas and of course the Royal Enfield Vespa and Royal Aloy. So, Royal Aloy. very classic bikes. If you are interested at getting one of those, just go to Motor Ace Gorordo branch. So, we're located here in Cebu. So, Motor Ace, thank you so much for the people working under Motor Ace. Thank you so much. Uh, Sir Ivy, if you're watching, thank you, guys, sir, sa, sa time. I mean, for letting us borrow the interceptor and for the future uh, motorcycle that I would like to borrow. Thank you so much, bro Ranji. Thank you, Kayo, bro. Salamat si Montaim, good. So please like and subscribe to my channel.